Sorry, I know you've been waiting. Hello, ma. I said, sorry, I know you've been waiting to join in. Okay, welcome, ma. I hear you now, ma. I said, sorry, I know you have been waiting to join in. Yes, <laughs> no problem. I'm just trying to finish the recording of what we did. Okay, oh, it's okay. Uh, we are still waiting for Omale. Um, just spoke now. We just spoke now. Uh, I told him that you were yet to come online. Okay. At any time from now. He's up. I can see He's him. Up. Now. Yes. Okay. Let's see how we move on with this. Okay. The class is set. Once again, you welcome to the class. This is a different class altogether now. Mm -hmm. We are here for EDPO 915, Communication Strategy in Educational Planning, like you can see here on the screen. So welcome once again. Thank you. Omale, can you hear us now? Male from Baiduguri, oh, she's gone. I think for us to survive this online class, we need uh, a very strong uh, internet. internet yes. The internet is strong, we'll be able to survive the class. Yes. But, um, however, we'll see how we can get along. The beauty of it is that like what we did just now, let me just show you a tip of it. Uh, that is what we did. So, uh, so I will now try and see I how you can show it to one you. Hour, so one hour elapsed, I can reset yeah. it so that we can come back. Indicated where we are joining. This is beautiful. That's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying from Asaba. I'm Rex Sajiri by name. I'm joining from Asaba. Okay. Meeting <laughs> you. Okay. Now, if you want to find out promotion data, and uh, the promotion in this case. So how do you see that? It's fine. It's nice hearing my voice online. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll try and see what I can do. So send okay, it back to you. you. Okay, so ma, thank you. We're going to watch mm. it. Even this one is the going recording. That was what I was trying okay. to finish. Trying to set up. Okay. Uh, okay. Make, no, not set up. The one we did, I needed to finish. I have to finish. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that it will not interrupt. <laughs> What you want to do now. Mm -hmm. So that is the yeah. beauty of it. And that was why I told the mm -hmm. Omale a while ago that really it's not going to miss anything out because mm -hmm. we will try as much as possible to see how anybody that missed it will be able to improve it. Mm -hmm. uh, ma, before, hello, hello, ma, before I forget, mm -hmm. the the other courses that we are taking, we are like we in an EDP now, I take one EDU course and one EDA course. Do, are we still going to have an online platform like this, or the physical classes we had with suffice? That I cannot answer. <laughs> <laughs> I knew when I <laughs> I knew when I sent this thing out that uh, those in admin they were asking what about our oh we've not seen this. I said, it's, a, it's already a, it's already a problem, and they are accusing me particularly. They are accusing me. I said it's not my fault. They said, why is it that it's only EDP that uh, I arranged for? I said, I didn't arrange for it. Arrange. So I said, but I will put it across the class. They are accusing me. Uh, they are accusing okay. me seriously. I don't know. If there I listen is to them. They refuse to believe that. Okay, what will happen, maybe I will schedule a meeting with everyone of them. Maybe what I will do, I will schedule a meeting to speak with uh -huh. all of them. So yeah. let them know that you never even suggested it. Yeah. What you were thinking of is me coming to the yeah. to facilitate you people. And yes, what we yes. work should do here, there is no way I can come to Lagos within that two weeks to facilitate mm. you. Yeah. And even the two weeks have long elapsed. Was it not since last year? That was since last yes, year. No. I couldn't yeah. 
But mm. to meet up with the distance on my own, mm. I decided to go into this. Okay. If my passion is part of my work, so okay. I decided to use this method to facilitate. Okay. Okay. And if it is something they know they need, maybe in the future, mm -hmm. the faculty mm -hmm. may look into it. Because even right now, I only just inform my dean and the HOD, this is what I am doing. Okay. Uh, so okay. uh, maybe what could happen is that maybe they could make a suggestion if they like it. I don't know. I never really knew that it was going to be helpful to you, but I was only looking for how to bridge the gap. Mm, very, 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 when, they, when they watch the video and uh, they watch the, some of them watch the YouTube videos and they will say, wow, but why is it not that we don't have this one in our own? Because most of all we did in Lagos, they just come, so maybe 10, 20 minutes, just said 18 or two. Uh, many of them felt they left them more confused than uh, understanding anything. So it has been the talk, they've been saying a lot of things. I, I said, well, I don't know. I I feel probably the school that organizes that they will have everybody. Yeah, but I said to keep quiet over the issue. Uh, no, just let, it's my own thought and in my own, I organized it. I spent time, you see everything there, I developed them. They're like yes. for the 907, I mm. spoke with uh, Professor Adewale, who is mm. one of the developers of that course. And with the permission of my dean, he agreed mm. that Dr. Professor Adewale should take it. And for those that will be there too, Ali, they will gain from that because I want, except for those of them that are not doing the course. <laughs> I mean, for GST 07. And, and, yes, and those that, the, the only three now, only three of them are doing it. Mm. About seven are not doing it. Uh, and even those three who are doing it, they are particularly in the course, it has even made them even angrier that the thing is not being done for the rest EDA <laughs> courses. <laughs> well, please help yeah. me appeal to them not to be angry. On a very serious yeah. note, let me know when it will be free. Uh, okay. Maybe in the next class, maybe Saturday. Maybe yeah. if you can um, tell them uh, how would we going to do it. Or maybe I set up, I send them, I will send you the link. Send okay, it. Will, yeah. If okay. they can okay. join in, in the first okay. slide, just to let them know it's nothing much. It's on my own. I choose okay. to do it this way because of the distance. And I know there is no way I can come in within the two weeks that was scheduled for you people to be doing the course. And um, it's something I have passion for. And that is why I choose to do it this way. So please appeal to them. They shouldn't be angry. Uh, it's not something deliberate. And uh, if I was taking them too, probably I would have done the same thing. But unfortunately, I'm not in their area of specialty. My area of specialty is planning, educational planning. So they shouldn't be angry. Uh, who are your lecturers for EDU? What is EDU? I know statistics or research. Uh, yeah, uh, we had the uh, EDU, EDU, is it EDU 911 and uh, EDA 913? Professor Gundera. Professor Gundera took us the EDA. Then uh, Dr. Umbanefo. Is that finance? Professor, uh, no, not finance. Finance is second semester. Uh, admin. I know. What was the course? Admin, admin theory, the theory, the theory, okay, theory. theory of fire, okay. okay. Uh, Professor, uh, Dr. Umbanefo took us in Lagos. But later, Professor Suji said that uh, the person that should take us is uh, Professor Gundero. Okay. So yeah, we went to Ubuntu meet him on two, on two weekends. Uh, so okay, you both went to his house. Yes, his uh, house. But he said he couldn't come to Lagos, uh, so I had to travel to Ubuntu to meet him on two occasions. That was another problem, sir, because some did not. Some were not able to go. Some refused to go. That is too far. Some many came from north. They said they, they are strangers. But it took attendance, and some people were like ostracized. Uh -huh. So, if the faculty can organize something like this one, it will be better because I'm not about two or three. I I know I had to go so that I can take some people there. Uh -huh. okay. Even though I was not offering you know, the courses. Uh, so, Dr. Mbane from Professor Bundira took, took them. Uh, mm -hmm. Then there's somebody in uh, EduTech also. Uh, ed well, there's one ed EduTech student also. So with the look of things now, we don't even know what we are, we are really up because uh, like me now, Dr. B.A. took me. 
they took them. But what Professor Suji is saying that those that took us were just to occupy us. Mm, yes, so he the, told me. So the person for ADP is even very confused because nobody has, as at now, spoken to her. She doesn't know the prop in charge of EDT. ED, ED, and so she asked me to also ask you. Is it one so student? Late. Yes, one student. One student. Yeah, me see. One year, me see at Jory. Who is the person that is assigned to her for the lecturer? I, I think when we're, when we're in Lagos, Dr. Job. I think Dr. Job. Okay. But we heard that he has been made a center director. He's no longer yeah. in Lagos. Center director. Uh -huh. so, uh, so, so now she's, she's lost. She doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know the person in charge. And uh, she's confused. Well, I will advise that she speak with uh, the dean so that she will know yeah. what to do. Okay. Hmm? Let's her speak with you. Okay. Everything will be sorted out. Okay. Don't speak with the dean. I trust the dean will sort and then the HOD too. Mm. Have you spoken with the HOD? The, when we spoke, when we went to Lagos, spoke with the HOD, he said he doesn't know anything. That he just made him HOD while we were there. And he said he cannot answer any question. That was a doctor, what is his name now? But he just, he said he just made him HOD while we were there. So he, it was not very open, but he said he can't answer our questions. Dr. Oba Denuga. Yes, yes, Denuga. Yeah. No problem. I think they will sort it out. Okay. No problem. Okay. So can we get on with our owner? Yes, we can. But yes, I hope can. those of you in planning, you are okay. We are very okay, ma. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm very glad I'm here. We are very okay. Um, <laughs> Omale, are you back now? Omale? Like he's not still hearing us, let me send him a chat if you he can hear. Hi. Hello. Can you read my chat, Res? Yes, I can. You are reading? Yes, me? I can read your chat. Okay, I want yes, to see Mr. Omale too is saying it. Hi, Mr. Omale, can you hear us? Let me call him. Hello, Sunday. Uh -huh. We are on. No, your video is not showing static. Do you see the chat that process? You have a problem. Uh -huh. But so you didn't see you didn't see the chat. Okay, no problem. Okay, just try and connect now. We are we are online anyway. Just just try. try this. Okay, no problem. I think he won't lose anything. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you, Ray. Okay, man. Let's see how uh, we can proceed. Okay. We are looking at the communication strategy in educational planning. I don't know. You know this particular one. I didn't prepare video for it. Uh, I I know that asked, and I said it's on purpose. Uh, so on your own, uh, what have you read? Uh, 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 Module one on my own, I've tried to find out what communication is. Uh, and also an overview of educational planning and uh, uh, the basic uh, characteristic, or should I say the, the steps in every communication. So communication is a transfer, like transferring of information or message from one person to, to another. And that uh, in communication, you must have the, the message, you must have the sender, you must have the, the receiver, you must have the communication medium, and you must have a feedback to show that communication has taken, a, has taken place. And also, I want to get at planning, it means uh, all activities or events uh, planned to bring about an accomplishment of an expected uh, objective or goal of an uh, organization. And in doing that, communication is, uh, is very, very important, very, very important uh, in planning. And also we have various channels of uh, communication. Uh, we have the, the media, we have uh, TV, we have online, so on and so forth. Okay, thank you very much. I'm really happy that at least you are doing your part. 
because what we're trying to do, we are using the, are you a teacher or you are working in the ministry? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm an industrial I'm, 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 no, I'm with the state government. <laughs> for now, for now, I'm with the state, gov I'm with the state government. Uh, I'm a chief industrial officer, uh, minister of commerce and industry. But I teach because we do organize skill acquisition. My passion is for entrepreneurship. So we organize entrepreneurship and uh, programs where we teach people the various skills as part of the state government uh, program to diversify from, uh, from oil. So we actually running from oil. So in that regard, I teach because we teach people how to, we teach on entrepreneurship and skill acquisition. Okay. Yes. Okay. Maybe after the class, we'll talk more on that. I'm sure you are one of okay. those that we are showcasing on the television on the skill that acquired <laughs> <laughs> in the <laughs> You know, I'm in charge of a Center for Entrepreneurship for now. Yes, ma. I, 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 I said it is not by coincidence because so my passion is entrepreneurship. Class, okay, so after ma. this okay. class, we can take yes, some time to talk about that. Now, okay, so, why I ask that question is to know how we can integrate because if you are in the field it will really give you more insight of the yes. requirement of communication in planning yes. now if i may yes. ask what is the relevance of uh, communication in educational planning uh. Like we said, communication uh, is, well, what is uh, the, the relationship? Transfer, the complete what, is the rela what is the relationship? Okay. Sorry, did Hello? you? I said either we look at what is the relationship between communication and planning, and in educational planning. Okay, educational planning. Uh, like if. How would I put it now? <laughs> put okay. it anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> the way you... I'm going to coin it. <laughs> I'm going to coin it. Use the right coinage. Okay. Like I said, uh, planning simply means uh, 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 all your projections or project, uh, pre uh, activities to meet a predetermined uh, objectives. And if you want to achieve your objectives, you have to communicate effectively. Communication in the sense that uh, those who are working with you, to have a clear goal of what you want to do. Then also, probably the community you are going to, or people you want to work for, or the school you want to work, the community, you need to communicate with them. Because sometimes government does things, and people don't really appreciate it, because it's not what they really want. Like in the course of my job, we do give out loans to people. And if I, I will tell you, this is not what I want. I don't want industrial loan. I don't want. We are giving out loans, and people will use the money to travel abroad. And you say, oh, start industry. So you didn't ask me, I don't want industry, I want to travel out of the country. So if I had, because there's no communication, the government carries out, ask us to go and enforce or to carry out policies that they don't appreciate. So if there is communication, I'm talking about the industrial sector, if there is communication between the people and the government, the government will understand what they need. I think that will help policies to work, to work better. So also, I believe in educational institutions. Maybe you want, to, you want to open a university in a community. Do they want a university in the community? Do they want to give land out for a university? So you have to come to the community so that they will give you a feedback because that will help to, to know if that thing will succeed in that community or not. Also, your internet has been doing well. It's like it's having uh, trying to start something. You work with a bit of It's a very important. Link. A, there is a there is a link between uh, the communication and the and the and the planning. Really, I I agree, I agree with you because so uh, if you need to plan, you need to communicate. Yes. In the first instance. Yes. The way we are defining planning. You don't plan yes. in, in assumption. When you want to plan, you yes. plan within the limited resources. Yes, you want to plan into the yes, future. Okay. You want to do something that is into the future. And your plan will solely yeah. require a lot of resources. You will need money. You will need, you yes. will need human, not human resources yes. to do your planning. Yes. And these resources yes. are never enough. 
So in the yes, first yes, instance, yes. you need to communicate with those people that will be in the area to share the resources with you or use the resources with you. For example, you want to increase the number of primary schools in a particular place. Then somebody yes. can say, well, I think what we need now is head, more head centers. Yes. Some people are yes, dying yes. out of one yes. disease or the other. The another person we yes. come, are you talking about a school? Is it not who is alive that we go to school where hunger are finishing people? Why don't we invest more into agriculture? Now, yes, as yes, a yes. planner, it is your responsibility to have a free flow of communication with the stakeholders to be able yes. to convince them why you want to increase the number of schools, possibly primary schools in the location, as against the number of health centers in that same location at that particular time. Because you need to buy in, have a buy-in of what you want to do. And if it is not there, it is a problem. Now, if you scale through that level and you move to the next level, you need to collect data. And without data, there is no way you can have an accurate plan. If you have a wrong data, a wrong data will lead you to a wrong plan. I don't know if you agree with me. If you have the right data, the right data will lead you to a good plan. And in this instance, you need to communicate with the source of the data where you are going to collect them from. I saw somebody else now. Hello? No, it's, it's on Malay. It's on Malay. Maybe he wants to come in. I don't know. Okay. Amale is on both screens. Uh, okay. So right there, but you are hearing me. Yes, I can hear you, ma'am. In this case, you discover that you can decide to say, okay, let me have a buy-in of this. Because if there is no communication, you won't be able to get even what you want to do set from the beginning and acquire and complete it to the end. And even when you struggle to complete what you need yes. to plan, you're going to implement. And the process of implementation, yes. communication still come into play. And if you do not have the yes. skill and the agreement of how those implementation plans will run, then what you have planned will fail. Now, yes. like, can we have a scenario of the Nigeria FATO? Can you remember any scenario of the Nigeria FATO we can use? Possibly what has happened in the past or what is happening currently? Uh, Okay, let's look at the, because the one I can really remember of probably a good intention that failed, the introduction of uh, GSS, this is C334 system, and they talked about uh, intro, intro tech. I think the communication was not really done to know how many teachers, if the teachers had the capacity to carry the, the, the scheme out. So I remember when we were in school, then they brought help. The man who was assigned to the machine and could not even do anything. So I believe if they, and most of the things were stolen, some God's point and so on. So I think there was not enough communication to know what is on ground, the number of staff on ground, if the system can accept it and so on and so forth. So I think that should be, that, that's, that's the one I can really think of, or something I feel they didn't communicate well to know. So the top just decided on it and they wrote it. In fact, that came to my thoughts too. As we are talking now, that equally came to my thoughts. And yes, the C334 would have been a very good plan. But again, you discover that even right from the plan, the plan yes. failed right from the beginning of planning before it got to implementation. Because when you are planning, like we have yes. already agreed here in this class, that yes. you are who using the limited resources to ensure you are able to maximize what is required in the society. And in this regard, yes, they were able to identify a gap that there is a need for skill. And you haven't identified the gap that is need for skill, there are those that could continue in the cognitive, there are those that should go psychomotor and those that will go uh, affective. That was very okay, but when they were doing the plan, there was a gap. And uh, where did that gap come in? You discover that at that point of planning, they didn't even find out whether there were teachers that were already trained that we carry out yeah. the implementation. There were no teachers. We're okay. talking about introductory technology, there were no teachers. 
social studies, they were not teachers. Integrated science, they were not teachers. That was why at that point, they have to even wear the area of introductory technology. They will take somebody who write physics to go and take it. Yeah, they're, they're, biology. Studying, they're looking for somebody who did geography or they're about to go and take it. Mm -hmm. Now, in integrated science, if you have read physics, chemistry, or biology, or even mathematics, they tell you to take it. And all these things makes you to fail because, like you rightly said, the person that teacher you said they brought to your school then, it's likely that teacher read one of the sciences, physics. probably. He read, he, read, he, read, he read physics. And the okay. machine that were brought before the teacher would have been machine, mm. probably they will use it for panabitting or for carpentry. So, how yes. did that teacher use those machines? So there was a gap in communication. And when it comes to the implementation stage, they did not even put the right place, the right things in place. And at that point too, when you visit schools, you discover the interpretation given to you by the different principals too. We are different. Yes. So at this point, there were really a lot of issues, a lot of problems. And with that, the team failed. On the long run, what happened? Everybody still went to the line of cognitive everybody wants cognitive. to go to university everybody uh, university. the parents every parent wants the child to become a medical doctor or a lawyer doctor. at least all those things that are head of or a pharmacist and the rest of them uh -huh. that's why we yes. are where we are today now yes. having been able to establish that which is a quite an interesting one now what are the channels of communication that we really need to look at when we are planning uh education because planning is wide but now we are restricting it to just education where we are planning education what are those areas we really need to look at as far um planning in the area of achieving using the limited resources to achieve the most what can you say on that on the channels of communication yes uh, as by in a school setting just a moment. With, in, in, planning, okay. uh, in planning education generally, whether within the schools, yes. you can take it from the micro level. From the micro level, you can bring it down to the uh, micro. Take it from the macro okay. and bring it down to the micro. I'm uh, with you. Okay, ma. Uh, I, by the channels, I, I, I think I, I guess we mean the means by which we communicate to information maybe from the principal to the staff okay uh, now let you... us, okay now let us do this first because okay, i knew from what we are saying just now you have read mm. about the channels of communication what are the yeah. channels of communication and i really get my hands on it now okay uh, uh can we say like grapevine official uh, official channels. And you just, you just talk about the channels you know. When we're talking about channels yeah. of communication, you speak mm. about the one you know. What, how you understand the channels of communication? Okay. Uh, I think official and official, official channels. Okay. And unofficial channels. Uh, Continue. The official and uh, the unofficial. I think can be refer, referred to as those. Uh, those ones that are not really from uh, probably from the principal to the staff, maybe those the gets the information gets spread by by form of grapevine or by gossip or by rumors, and there are also other other forms. Probably the principal gives communique, maybe a bulletin, maybe staff meetings. I don't know if I'm in order. <laughs> no, just continue. Just continue. <laughs> okay. Maybe through, like, maybe through, through staff meetings, with through staff meetings, that can be official channel. Through communiques, that can be official channel. Probably through bulletins, through verbal directive, uh, through mail, that can be also channels of communication. Uh, through telephone, that can be of communication. Then in the unofficial setting, we have grapevine. People hear things and uh, uh, then can also to be, I think, okay, let me stop there. I don't even know. Let me stop there for now. Okay, no problem. Now, let's, are you with your course material? No, I'm not. I'm not. I guess I dropped it when I was running here. I'm not with it now, but I have it. Okay, next time, come with it. Now, if yes. we go to page 27 of your course material, you have there 
where they expatiate on the channels, or they were talking about oral and written communication. Channels. Because these are formats, yes. you could have formal and okay. informal. You could have mm -hmm. formal and informal. For example, informal. if I come to you, okay, let me use the, uh, what we just said a while ago. On entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. you have told me, oh, this is what I do for my state, and this is yes. how I organize. And I was, oh, please, Mr. Rice, can you get something? Oh, you call me over. Oh, can you come and help us train S and Y's number of participants for this? I said, okay, I agree. Then without making it formal, mm. maybe on that particular day, I carry my things, I come. Will it be obliged? No, it will not. It will not be obliged. Not. Because I may not even see you. I may see some people at the gate. They was, oh, are you invited here as a guest? So yes, I am. Rest invited me as a guest mm. speaker to come over and talk to you and teach, I will carry all my things. I will not be yeah. unmatched because I don't have the format that backed up the informer. So yes. when, you are, when you are having a plan, yes, you could start from the informer communication through yes. aura. Mm. Then from that, you cannot translate it to the formal communication. And in the formal communication, mm. you have, need to have a backup. And the backup you must have, it has to be something that could be documented. It could be in chips, it could be in a video yes. form, it could be written. So, but it has to be documented. Mm. It's the same way to maybe you have gone to see your governor to align, talk with your governor, the lot of um, uh, programs you have planned that you want to execute within the period. And your governor says, oh, right, that is a good one. Just get along. And from there, you just go mm. along, spend your money. And after that, you come back and say, ah, sir, please, I will need money. I need some money. To pay back all these things I say, but who gave you go ahead? Would that not be? Because if there is no letter that said go and do that, you have done it at your own expense. You will not be reimbursed. Yes, nobody will reimburse you. So when you are planning, definitely we must have a clear cut of what we need to do. We must agree on what we need to do. Using both the aura, you may start, sorry, you may start from the informer and you round it up. Mm. Now, the again, in the area of the former, the former too can be in the aura form. For example, if you are called for a meeting and the meeting you're going to be communicating in the aura form, and in that aura form, it could be documented because there will yes. be minutes that will be taken out of that meeting. That so, in this yeah. case, you see that all those minutes that are taken. They are the minis that is giving you, empowering you to do whatever you need to do. And nobody will be able to deny the findings or the outcomes of that uh, meeting. Then yes. here we talk about uh, presentation, telephone calls. Yes, there are some official calls that you can make through telephone. And it will be authentic. Yes. It will be authentic. Like as you are here now, you may receive a call from your boss to say, yes, rest, please, are you in the office? Yes, oh, I'm at home. Please, I need you in the office. There is a document I need now. We need to do this. We need to. Do. I'm sure that you will leave what we are doing. Will you say yes. because it's not written, you won't go? <laughs> no. No, I won't. Go. At the same time, the boss will call you for some other conversation, and that conversation will not be official. So we should be able yes. to know when things are done, whether oral or written in the communication, when it is official, and when you take it as all official. So these are areas that we need to clarify when we are walking through our document. Because when you're talking about communication, it could be seen in different dimensions. But what actually applies to us is how we use it in educational planning. And planning. you are doing, uh, maybe you have had a plan and you're talking about the implementation plan. During the implementation plan, you must remember to integrate reports. Because it's that report that will help to serve as evidence of the, what you have done, of the project you have carried out. Now, sorry I'm using you now with the project you are doing for your state. At the end of every training, what do you do? We do a report. You do a report. Why do you do a report? Uh, to, number one, to show what we've done, that we have done it, and to evaluate what we've done, and uh, give the best, the, 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 probably the director or the PS, a feedback of what we have done. So you must you must do a report and evidence that the training was actually carried out and what was involved in the training, the amount involved in the training, the number of participants, and what was achieved in the training. 
Now, if after the training, you go to your ES office, you walk straight there, and you talk with him, verbally him or her, or the, the outcome, it has that not solved the problem? <laughs> it has not. Why? It has not. Because it's, it's not formal. It's not documented. Such no, things can be formal. denied. You didn't go to his office, to his house. You went to his office. You went to say, but, but, oh, you don't go. Okay. Have, you, have you people completed the program? You say, yes, sir, or yes, ma'am. Okay, how did it go? And you sat down and you gave the, 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 the brief. The, the, the brief. So, in, in, in service, they will agree. Everything must be documented. Everything must be documented. <laughs> why, why do they insist on documentation? Uh, the bureaucracy now, in case tomorrow anything comes out, because a lot of, a lot of shitty things happen. So you must documented. The amount, the financial aspect of it must be documented. The like same thing comes out tomorrow. See, this uh, is an area of communication and communication yes. channel. Yes. And you discover that even in that documentation, you might not be the person, I don't know the position, but sometimes it's likely that the officer that is directly dealing with the trainees might not even be the person that will directly report to the superior. Yes. Now, let me put it in this way. Let's use the example we have on ground. You report to the ES, isn't, isn't it? And yes. ES is going to report to the governor. Yes. Isn't it? Now, yes. if you are making a report, for it to be authentic, because if you just make it verbal to so the ES, ES may be on purpose or really not on purpose. At the time mm. it's reporting it back to the governor, there will be distortion. There will be. Do you understand? But if it's documented, yes. it will be first yes. hand. Yes. All that ES will now do is to make reference, make a so brief summarizing, uh, and add yes. the document. So whether yes. I want to now read details, you go to the mm. If you want to look at the summary, you look at the debriefing mm. that has been done in a summary. Yes. Yes, so summary it's an area of communication that are really, really are vital. But again, yes. even when you are planning, is it all the time you make everything official? No, no. So it's what not. is the crossroads? <laughs> Uh, when you're talking about person, how the personal, if, 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 uh, personal written communication now, how does it affect? We're looking at personal and uh, in personal written, how does it affect planning? Uh, or even for informal communication, how will it affect uh, planning? Well, let, let's say, for example, somebody is not complying. Uh -huh. Someone is not complying. Is you, you want to really ensure? You want to really like sometimes in my line of work, I really want to really ensure compliance. I am not sure of compliance. You make it formal. You make it very formal, and uh, so that in case there is any any deviation, you have records that you use. This this is what you actually said. But sometimes people can be misquoted, especially the culture of corruption that we we have now. See, sometimes I say I should spend this money. So, like in my office, everything being formal saves your neck from any inquiry or, or, or anything. So, if we are out in the field, we can have informal, they can say, rest, go to soap place, we we'll have informal communication. But as most of the instructions are formal, so that in case there is a, there is a, a backlash, you have what to fall back to. This was what I was told. So we always say, I'm instructed, I'm instructed to, I'm instructed to, I'm instructed to. But in which case, we can say that you can use the informal to drive the formal. Yes, yes, I agree with you. And there are times that you use the informal and you later formalize. Yes, yes, yes. Because there are times that if you follow bureaucracy and the bureaucracy is too somehow it gives a lot of a problem. Bottleneck, bottleneck, a lot of bottleneck. Yes, there will be a lot of problem in what you want to do. Yes. Now, what yes. are the certain things you need to bring out when you use memo, letter, report, bulletin board, poster, newsletter? How does that really influence your planning strategy and your implementation plan in executing a project? Like if you are going to use, probably we have maybe we have a we have a training 
and you're, you're, you're going to do a billboard to, to advertise the program, you look at certain things. Uh, how will the board look like? How attractive will it be? How will the lettering be? Will it, how will the language? How will the language be? Will it be simple enough for people to understand? Will it be what can communicate to them effectively? It's different from what you will do if you are going to use a TV or radio radio jingle. It's different from if you are going to have a personal communication to your boss or from to your to, to, to your to those or to your subordinates. It's very different. Yes, or to your subordinate, and it becomes unique. It becomes very personal. Unlike when you're on the right to probably the whole the whole ministry or a group of people. I hope there is no internet uh, problem there. I can hear you, ma. Okay. I, I don't know. Can you hear me? I'm hearing you, but the point is like the things. Okay. Uh, In this uh, regard, we have seen how yes. we can drive um, communication through. Uh, we will call it how what we call communication yes. network. And if you are planning or you want to implement your plan, there is no way you will not bring in communication network. Do you agree? Did you hear me? Hello? Okay. Can you hear now? Yes, I do. I do. Okay. I said yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. I said, how can we integrate communication network into our plans? either during the planning or during the implementation of the plan? Well, I'm not very clear with this network, because that's what I was even going to ask several. <laughs> this network issue, <laughs> I'm, I'm not very clear with it. Uh, okay. Maybe what are we going to do? I think in every area, there is always a good network. You are lucky. If your network has been doing very, very well, I wouldn't know whether it's my own network. Your network has been doing excellently well. And I think mine too has been doing well. Yes. I'm trying to check whether it's from my own end. Yes. And uh, what we could do, because network you can't really predict. But however, that is where we always have yes. a feedback where we are done. And at the same time, let us look out for the network that will be best in our own locality. Yes. Did you hear me? It's okay, man. It's okay, man. Okay, yes, I did. Now, I did. because of the network, let's bring the class to a close because we're almost okay. coming to the end. We just okay, have a few things we have discussed, but I hope yeah. the class was a, an interesting yes. one today. Yes, it was. It, it was yes, ma. Yes, ma. I hope it was yes, interesting. Yes. It's very, 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 very. Thank you, ma. Okay, if it was interesting, let's see how we can keep on with uh, the mm -hmm. next class. So at this yes, point. Please. Can I say we bring the class to a close? And before then, do you have okay. anyone, anything to say? Maybe you have a word or two to say? Mm, no, the, like the planning now. When I went through the material on the, the planning, I see the planning cuts. I couldn't really figure out, like talk about planning. Is it really in the office? Or is the next topic about planning in the Planning with planning. What is the scope of educational planning? I just want to have an overview, man. If you don't mind, of the scope just to cover. Which one then, are you? Which one are you talking? Planning in the school or which, planning at the police? Which one are you talking about? The now? nine one five. This course, this particular course. Okay, the nine one five. This particular course, the com the communication, the, 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 the communication. The focus. Yes, yes. What's the scope? Is it only school? Yeah, the, the scope is on educational planning. Yes. Educational planning yeah. can be at the macro level. When you say macro, it can cover okay. the international, yeah. national, state, and so on. Even out to local okay. government, it's still okay. macro. Okay. But when you now come to the micro okay. level, that is now within the school level. So when you are looking at yeah. communication strategy or communication okay. Okay. planning, you are looking at the educational planning all together from the yes. global level, the macro level to the micro level. How do, because at every stage you might have a need to plan. You plan for the okay. nation, you plan for the state, you plan, even sometimes you plan for an institution, okay. the micro. So it cut across all. 
So what okay. we do, like I told you a while ago, okay. at your level is application. Mm. We are not going to be looking at it, okay, application. Uh, what are the, pro uh, the process, we know. Then the process are there, but how are you going to apply it? If now you have to have, uh, help your state to plan an education, what are you going to do? How does communi this communication come in? First and mm. foremost, if you are the one that observed, there is a gap. You know, communication will start from there. How will it start? You have to go and meet yes. the commissioner for education. So say, Commissioner Saoma, this is yes. what I have observed. And if we do this, if we do this, I believe it will help us to achieve this. What has happened? Communication has commenced. I don't know if I'm communicating. Hi, are you still with me? Network. Hi, Rex. Yes. Did you hear me? I'm, hello, I can hear you. Yes. You what I said. I, I can hear you. Okay. Yes, I, I did. I did. So you discovered that yes, I heard what you said. started from that end. So the communication cut across all, at macro level to the micro level. Okay, at this point, let us bring the class to a close. It's like the network has started misbehaving. So hope to see you next week. It was, it was, Sorry? Uh, Hello? Uh, As it was noon, the network begins to flow. Oh, okay, so uh, sleep is everything we need to do. No, my friend. Okay, bye. In the morning, yes. Bye. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. Thank you, bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.